Hello students, today we are going to work on Unit C, C1, working with layers, merging layers, and manipulating opacity. So go ahead and open up C1 in the data um, files for students. You will find that in the digital photo folder. Okay, the first thing it says to do is click the Layers Panel menu button Click Panel Options and click Medium Thumbnail. Size Option button, then click OK. So right here, you above the layers, you will find this Layers Panel Menu button. Click the arrow down and go down to Panel Options. OK, let's choose Medium. Right now we're in Small. If you look at the layers on the right, they're small in size and watch them grow. Click to medium, click OK, and now they're, voila, they're larger. OK, um, next it says to press and hold Alt, then click the Indicates Layer Visibility button. So this right here, this eyeball, is the Layers Indicates Visibility button. So we're going to go down to Passport, and we're going to hold Alt on the keyboard, and all of them disappear. All the layers are closed at once. So that'll be helpful when you're working on your upcoming Thanksgiving postcard. Okay, um, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to click on the Indicates Visibility button on the Coin and Coliseum layers and then compare to Screen C1. Coin and Colosseum. Okay, notice when you click the eyeballs, the um, images start appearing and then they want you to go up and click them all and turn them all back on. Okay, so here again we're just learning how to do things with our layers. I'm going to go ahead and click on my background layer also. All right. Um, click the Move tool, click the Pen Layer Name on the Layers panel, and then click and drag the pen artwork to move it to the left side of the canvas. So, we all know where the Move tool is. We're going to click it, and we're just going to move our pen to the left side. I'm going to move mine right here. Um, similar to uh, figure C2 on page 61. Okay, um, next, number seven, click the couple's layer name on the layers panel and target it. The couple layer. All right. And then we're going to press and hold control and click the couple shadow, uh, shadow layer so both are selected. So we're going to click, we're going to hold control and we're going to click. Now you see they're both selected. Drag the couple and the couple shadow artwork to the upper right corner of the canvas. So we're going to move it up, just like image, right about there looks good. Okay, target the coin layer and then drag the coin artwork down so its bottom edge is behind the title. So we're going to go to the coin layer and we are going to select the coin layer and you notice the others get deselected and then you're going to drag the coin layer down so its bottom edge is behind the tile. Okay, I'm just going to click move it down behind the title about about there. I'm looking at the image on page 61. Click File on the menu bar, then click Revert. So, File, and Revert, right here in the middle. 
So, look, all our images are back to where we started. So that's a great option. So say you've made some changes to your document and you don't like them and you want to go with your original idea, go to File and Revert. Verify that all layers are visible on the Layers panel, then target the coin layer. Drag the coin layer above the Colosseum layer on the Layers panel until you see a horizontal gray line as shown in Figure C3. Then release the mouse. mouse. So we're going to click it until we see the gray line, then we're going to release it. And now you can see the coin is above the Colosseum. Click the pen layer on the Layers panel, then drag it down below the Euros layer so that your canvas resembles figure C4. I've turned the page to page 62 and um, the image is on page 63, C4. So I'm going to target the coin. No, first I'm going to click the pen layer and drag it below the Euros layer. So pen layer I'm going to click it, and I'm going to hold it, and I'm going to drag it below until I see the gray line, and I'm going to release it. Okay, and next I'm going to, number four, target both the coin and the Colosseum layer. Click the Layers panel menu and Merge Layers. So coin and Colosseum. There's coin, and I am going to click Alt and click on the Colosseum. I'm going to click Control, and I'm going to um, click Colosseum. So both are selected. Then I'm going to go to the um, Panels menu, and I am going to merge layers right here merge layers or um, I always say control E on the keyboard because I love shortcuts okay now click the move tool then drag to move the artwork in any direction so that's the point in the Colosseum so I have the um, move to tool selected so I'm going to move it and see you can move it anywhere you want it okay and they're moving together they're no longer single entities okay now click edit on the menu bar and click undo move edit undo move and it'll move back to its or original position and then on the Drag the opacity slider on the layers panel to 50%. So I'm going here to the opacity on the right hand on the layers, and I'm going to go to 50%. And most of the time I get frustrated because I can't get it exactly right, and you can also type in the number if you prefer. Okay, target the couple shadow layer, and then reduce the opacity to 75% couple shadow layer so just the shadow and then we want to reduce it to 75 percent okay so I'm going to just type it in okay and uh, number seven on page 62 it says target the, um, verify uh, I'm sorry I'm on actually number eight Verify that the Move tool is selected, target the Passport layer, then press 5. So we're going to um, get to the Passport layer and um, make sure you're on the Move tool and then press 5. And what happens?
So I saw the opacity move to 50%. Um, so make sure that happens and then compare your canvas to C5 on page 63. And if yours looks similar, go ahead and save it. File, save as your last name underscore C1. Mine looks different from you because I'm working on a Mac computer. Okay, and you're going to save it in the inbox. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Okay, and please save it in JPEG so that when I open it up, I can tell that you changed the opacity and the layers. Thank you very much. Goodbye.